Hello guys and welcome to my first look video of a new mod hub map. Uh, it's called Nieder Saxen. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. It's a 4x map and it has been uploaded to the mod hub today as a 26th of May 2021. Right, so let's have a look at the PDA. So you can see it's plenty of fields on this map. Most of the fields are either small, medium size. You can You've got a couple of larger fields like 59 and 53, even though they look quite small. Don't forget it's a 4x map. If you have a look, field 53 is 55.8 acres. Field 59 is quite big as well, 55 acres. You've got some smaller fields at the top, like one of the fields we own, field 122 is only 5 acres, field 14 it's only 5.6 acre, field 15 is even smaller, 3 acres, I guess field 15 is probably the smallest one, or maybe field 1, 2 acres. Right, so this first look is done on the new farmer, and as, I, as you can see we have 3 fields to start with, field 14, field 122, and field 83. I quite like the fact that the fields are not next to the main farm as most of the uh, mappers do instead the fields are spread out however if you don't like this approach you can always sell the fields and then just buy the fields around the farm uh, another interesting thing about this map is that it has got quite a few biogas plants uh, there's a bga top left corner and it's quite difficult to see here, uh, but as far as I'm aware, we've got eight biogas plants. Yeah, so it's quite a few. There's another one right there, and there's another one top right. So basically, no matter where you decide to play, you can buy a biogas plant just around the corner from your farm. If you look at the prices of the BGAs, it's not cheap. I tell you that it's six hundred thousand for the one and top right corner as almost 2 million for the one on the left it must be one of the bigger ones um, also as you can see you've got quite a few areas marked off I assume they are placeable areas so you don't necessarily have to start in the main farm you can just pick one of these placeable areas and just build as you like uh, we can actually try and purchase one of the areas to see if it's got any placeables in it and it doesn't look like it does right uh, another thing to mention is this map is precision farming ready and as it has got custom soil map as you can see it's a good mixture of everything with quite a bit of sandy loam and loamy sam in the middle and then you've got loam spread around the edges of a map but it does have a good variety no matter where you decide to play um yeah so let's have a wander around around the farm this is our starting farm so you can see it's next to a field 73 um, i do like these buildings they look quite different from the normal ones uh, it looks like a brick texture we have a nice wooden doors this is our farm silo yeah it does look different to say the least uh, since it's a 4x map, the field, as I say, the fields might look quite small, but if you do come up to them, they are not as small as they look on a PDA. Um, also, another thing to keep in mind is it does have custom crop textures, as you can see here. Um, it is also one of the farming agency maps. And it does come with multi fruit, which I should have probably mentioned at the start of the first look. So, yeah, you've got all the regular farm sim crops, and then you've got rye, triticol, spelt, alfalfa, clover, field grass, horse grass, pasture grass, carrot, onion, and a miscanthus. Um, so, yeah, right, let's carry on with our wander around the farm you've got a couple of big silage pits i do like these ones you can climb up to the top and just like have a wee look around so yeah as you can see this is a uh, one of the silage pits here you can see the trigger is working and there is another one oh it's quite nice to 
start with one of the forklifts. We'll go through the starting equipment a wee bit later. Let's look at these sheds. So we do have a lot of space inside. And since it's a 4x map, you might be wanting to play with some bigger machinery. So the storage space is sufficient, but the only problem I can see is the size of a door. So if, for instance, you take one of those 9x, X9 combines, it might not quite fit through the door. Yeah, but anyway, let's keep on looking. There's uh, one bigger machinery shed over here. There's more storage space, and that's where all the equipment is left. I quite like the approach of beams, uh, structure supports. I do like the wooden ones. Right, so we've got a wee bit of forest around the farm. That's around the back of our silage pits. And this is one of our bigger machinery sheds. But once again, the entrance isn't too big, but I guess you'll be able to fit bigger tractors and stuff. That's our combine sitting here. Right, so it looks like that's about it on the main farm. Let's just see where the sleep trigger is. Right, can you enter it? No, sleep trigger is right here. I do like the design of a house, but let's see if you can actually sell it. And yes, you can, which is quite good. I do like when you're able to sell the built in houses and sheds so you can redo the farm in your own way. Right. Let's have a look at a PDA and see how we're going to go around this map. I assume these are big rivers and there's a road going around the map. Yeah, so since we are here, we can... I'm not going to be able to go all the way around the map, as I say, as a 4x map. So we'll go and visit uh, the shop areas, the dealers, um, some of the BGAs and we'll probably end it there. Um, before we go, let's have a look at the cell points, and there is a lot of them. So you can see, you can, you've got all your regular crops here, plenty of choice. Right, potatoes, you got three cell points for potatoes, sugar beets, only one. Eggs, three cell points for eggs. Wool, single cell point, two cell points for milk, same ones as for the eggs. And then let's have a look at wood chips. Right, so only one cell point for wood chips, one cell point for all the grass, straw, hay, and all different silages, except for field grass. You've got three cell points for field grass. You've got three cell points for onions and carrots. I'm not quite sure what the crop's worth is. I assume it's a whole crop, maybe mold. And then you got horse hay, horse silage. And then again, you got all the additional crops, uh, which probably same cell points as for the standard crops. And then, since this map is straw harvest ready, you've got the straw pellets, hay pellets. And then you've got your fresh maize, which, as far as I can see, you can sell anywhere. It's got maize silage. And then, obviously, you can buy one of the BGAs and just use the BGA to sell all the silage and stuff. Right, let's have a look at the starting equipment. And we do have quite a bit. We're starting with a fan favorite 515C, which has got 150 horsepower, Case Puma 240 CVX with 270 horsepower. So it's a nice range from 150 to 270. Uh, Russell Mesh, which we saw in the big vehicle storage shed. And we've got a pickup truck, we've got a nice money too, forklift, a couple of agro liners as well, three agro liners, and all of them 21,000 liters. And then we've got another one, H, well, another two HW80 trailers, and a 5 meter Russell Mash Power Stream 500 header. We've got another 900, nine, sorry, 9 meter corn header. And we've got two and a half meter plate, three meter cultivator, 
and we've got quality desk pharma 3000 which is another three liter three meter cultivator and we've got a combi play three meter sub soiler we've got a three meter uh so we've got quite a few back well we've got a back tractor for a lot of three meter equipment i tell you that so we've got a three meter direct drill and a four and a half meter planter and then we've got bridle k105 spreader jocks joskin 12 meter slurry sprayer and a 4.3 meter coon mower we also got we've got quite a few things I'll tell you why you've got everything to get you started so we've got a tether we've got a 9.3 meter wind drawer we've got a loading wagon and then just regular stall buckets front loader buckets forks and couple of weights as i already mentioned you can sell all the buildings you own if you don't like them or if you'd like to rebuild the farm in your own way uh, let's go and have a look if you can buy these modded buildings there's no modded animal placeables there's no modded other than precision farming and straw harvest miscellaneous buildings and we've got plenty of silos uh bunker silos uh I, I don't know if you guys seen but this map does have quite a few required mods and this bunker silo is one of them also as a grain silo which we saw earlier and decorations we've not got any more decorations and then sheds we've got quite a few sheds and all of them are required you don't actually have to the map will work without you downloading them however if you don't get the additional mo mods the starting farm is going to be empty and then farmhouses we've got the same farmhouses if you don't like the color you can always sell the one you've got and get a different color right so let's maybe get into a pickup and drive around the map and see where we get from there right let's plan the way a wee bit so if we take a right and then go all the way down here see all look at all these cell points animal dealer and then go up north from there and do this big anti-clockwise loop and then have a look at some of the BGAs and maybe some of those placeable areas all right so as you can see it's got quite a few trees around the farm so yeah, if you like a bit of forestry I'm sure you can cut some of those trees down yeah that's uh, one of the first cell points actually right outside the main farm and that is metal door for let's have a look what you can sell there right as uh, this one there which takes your ccm and all the regular crops so you can sell all the regular crops right outside your farm and you've got ksd which is I'm not quite sure what the ksd is we might go and have a look just now or we can just teleport uh, as probably a buy point. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, as a buy point. Right. Yeah, so we'll come back to a buy point, have a look what you can buy. And yeah, let's go around the map. And it does look like I'm going the wrong way around. Oh, it's nice to see the collision on the road signs. I do like that. It's obviously not ideal if you playing with larger machinery. For instance, a seed hawk. You would struggle to get free or borla DLC. Yes, yeah, so as I've said before, you've got quite a few trees around the farm. It does add a nice detail. Got some water here if you got animals. Right, it's quite hilly, 
as you can see it's nice rolling hills but you got some steep hills to go up to and some of the weaker tractors might struggle pulling the trailer yeah but it's a nice looking map it really is it is a big map but when you drive around i don't even know if that makes sense you would not be able to tell that's a 4x map if you look well it does look like a 4x map actually yes as i've said some of the fields on the pda they don't look too big if you look at the field 62 it doesn't look big and it's 30 acres so yeah you can see the size of that right, let's get back to the pickup Uh, some nice hills um, so yeah you'll probably have to think about what machinery and what implements you buy because you can't get too big of an implement for a small tractor because they might struggle going up those hills right where are we going okay we're approaching cell points there's a nice map I tell you that Let's see what's in there. It's a nice watchtower. You can get some sightseeing if you can climb up the ladder. And it does look like you can. Yeah, it's a nice little touch. I do like that. Little detail. Right, let's get back to the pickup. It really is a nice map. It's a bit more forestry area across the road. You can buy, oh wow, 3 million. There's more forestry area, 1.2 million, 1 million. Yeah, the land isn't cheap. Isn't cheap at all, but you've got to keep in mind that that's a 4x map so even though you pay 2 million that's a 30 acres of trees so you can make a good chunk of money back from that you've got some smaller bits 8 acres for half a million and that's 11 acres yeah so you can find some smaller bits of forestry but it's not it's not the cheapest it's not the cheapest all right, let's crack on with the drive around. I do have a feeling this is going to be a long video. These look like a standard FS19 buildings. It does look nice in a forestry area. Right, that's one of the sell points or buy points. I assume you can sell and buy here. I don't think we can load into the pickup, can we? No. Nice little scale. I do like when mappers add scales to the cell points. Just an extra detail of realism. Now let's see if we can grab anything from here. Nope. We'll probably need a proper trailer for that. Right. Yeah, look at that detail, all the trees. I like how the map has put all the different trees in instead of sticking to one same size tree, for instance. Uh, it's got loads of different flowers and different foliage everywhere to make it look more realistic. And I do like that. Right, let's quickly overtake this car. Right, that's our animal dealer. Let's have a look. Uh, and that's the main entrance. Yeah, that's quite nice. I do like how he's got animal dealers and cell points behind the house, which kind of adds a bit of realism as well. Instead of having 
just an animal dealer in the middle of nowhere. It does look at, does make it look a wee bit more realistic where you've got stores and stuff in towns. Right, let's carry on. That's possibly a wood selling point in there. It would make sense having it in the woods. Right. And it is lumber mill. This kind of looks like an animal dealer, to be honest, but it does suit the area nice. Yeah, so this is where you sell your logs. Everything's nicely detailed, some logs around, parked cars, foliage, it has a really nicely detailed map. Right, let's get back on the main road and see what else we've got. Gonna go this way, or oh, is that it's just gonna take us into the forest by the looks of it? Let's just crack on, we've got a lot to see. Right. That's another cell point right here, and nice little scale. Right, the scale's from the other side. That is a very nicely detailed map. I know I keep saying that, but I do really like it. I like how everything is kind of surrounded by either trees or buildings, instead of just sitting like just a single building in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere, as I've said earlier. Right, and it looks like we've got one of those placeable areas on the other side of the road. Let's see if we can find the entrance. Right, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road there. Oak, oak. Yeah, so that's the entrance. No, that's field 58. I do like the texture. It looks... I don't know if that's just me or it's a wee bit different. Right. See, that's another one of the bigger fields, 58. Which, once again, doesn't look too big on the map. But it's fairly big, big size field. Right, so that's one of the half-marked areas which looks like grass field however it isn't just a regular grass field if we click on grass it does cover it with grass but it isn't a field no it's not which means you you, you can maybe if you if you decide to buy one of these fields you can basically mow the grass maybe bale it or get hay or silage, sell that, and then you can just build your own farm on top of it, and you can plow up half of it if you like to, which is pretty good idea. Instead of having just a plot of concrete, you got pretty much a field of grass, so you can place your buildings and roads around there, and you can still have nice grass around, which is a great idea. Right. Let's just head out the same way. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a long video. We've hardly covered... Right, let's get rid of the grass. Right, so that's where we've started. And we're just down here. So I think I'll have to maybe skip some of the things just to go around the map. I'd quite like to show you is one of the BGAs or a couple of different BGAs. Uh, especially the one in the top left corner for 2 million since it's so expensive. It must have something maybe special or maybe more silage bunkers or something like that. Um, I've not looked, well I've not been around this map previously so this is kind of first look for myself. Um, I have logged in briefly but I've not even left the farm. As you can see, some of steep hills here. Would be fun having to harvest that corn and then drive up the up the hill. 
Yeah, so it does look like you might need some bigger machinery on this map unless you want to play with the smaller implements. But uh, since the fields, some of the fields are quite big, you know, it would take you a good few hours cultivating that field with a three meter cultivator. Oh, looks like we've got one of the animal places. Let's move the truck. Right. It does look like, well, abandoned. I like that. It looks like an abandoned, maybe, cow pasture or pig pen. That's field 60, right next to, oh wow. So, yeah, I forgot to show you this before. Basically, this area around is pretty much unbuyable. Or you can buy it for a pound under a billion, which isn't ideal. Um, I do like when the map makers make the roads free and some of the shop areas free. So if you do like playing realistic and having seasons on, you can actually snow plow the roads and stuff, which is a nice feature to have. But yeah, this, but back to this pasture, it's pretty cool to see like abandoned pasture with some scrap cars in there. Some abandoned broken buildings, slurry points, and a nice wee track going up to the fields. Yeah, I do like the detail of this map. It really is nice. It's probably a great map for multiplayer. Right, let's get back to the pickup. Got a lot to cover. Some of you might be asking why does it always default me? to in cabin view and that is because I've got a track IR so basically I just move my head around yeah which is pretty cool but annoying at the same time because I don't always want to be defaulted into first person view right more hills yeah I really like the map I like the hills I'm not usually a huge fan of European maps, but I do like the look of this map. I prefer either British or American maps, especially detailed American maps. But this map does look pretty cool. Right, that's another cell point. What have we got here? I'm not going to be going to every single cell point because as I've said this is a 4x map so it is going to take us a good while to go through everything and that's Kleindorfer Agrahandel I'm not great with pronouncing German words right, that's another just a regular crop cell point green cell point if you like let's crack on up north Uh, once again, nice detail. It's a lot of corn. Hmm. It does look like we should probably go around there as well, because it's quite a few cell points and few placeable areas. Alright. Yeah, some flat, squarish fields for people who prefer flat flat fields and square fields. Uh, looks like a worker friendly, other than you'd probably have to go around a couple of headlands to make sure the worker avoids all the trees and bridges and stuff. But yeah, it's nice to have a variety where if you like hilly areas, you can pick a hilly spot on the map. Where if you like flat areas and square fields, you can do that as well. Right, that's one of our BGAs. Let's go have a look. Right, another narrow road. Let's just see if these signs have collision on them. No. I was going to say, if it did have a collision, you would struggle coming into a BGA with any bigger machinery. But it does not have a... Oh man, I really like this map. It's got some wind turbines, which we'll have a look if they've got collision on them, which I suppose we will. Yeah, we're surrounded with trees as well. Another one of the watchtowers. 
Yeah, man, look at the detail. Oh, wow. That is a big BGA. I mean, some choice you've got here. Are we all functional? F1. Yes, it's got trigger. All of them do have tr triggers by the looks of it. Yes. And yes. Right, so we've got our dump point here. That you'll have to probably load with reloader or tailor handler. You'll probably be able to dump from the trailer just outside, but if Bill's gonna have to go in. And that's our digested point. Um let's have a look how much that is. Just under a million. I'll probably get some money in. And we can buy a couple of BGAs to have a look at them. Right. If you take this. Okay, and let's have a look at the prices. Silage, silage. Bioenergy. Right, this is why I didn't find all of them on the map when I was looking, because some of them got different name other than biogas plant. So, yeah, we've got... Disappeared. There it is. Yeah, by the looks of it, it's only taking hay manure. It's taking straw. Wait, that is nice. Oh, right, it's not seasons. So that's why it's taking straw. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's see if you can sell your carrots. Yes, you can sell carrots. And yeah, you can sell all the straw, hay, all different type of straw and hay. You can sell your carrots. And let's see if you can sell beetroots. Yes, you can sell potatoes and not beetroots, sorry, sugar beet and potatoes as well can go to your biogas plant. I quite like that. It's kind of like a good payoff for doing the hard work harvesting beets or potatoes. Since normal prices aren't too high, but PJ pays a lot for it, so it does pay off. Let's just have a look at the one of the windmills, wind turbines. I don't need that. Yeah, it'll definitely have collisions since it's surrounded with the trees. So, yeah, oh wow. Yeah, it'll probably struggle with the work unless you go around the uh, with a course play, if you use course play, you can just set it to go around islands, so you would you won't have the problem. But as I said, the fields look like worker friendly, but you'll have to go around the headland uh, to make sure you avoid any collisions with trees or little islands for windmills and stuff. Right, let's turn right and carry on going round. That's uh, another cell point here. I'm probably just gonna drive around since, yeah, as I've said, we're spending a lot of time looking at each of our cell points. Yeah, I love the detail. Look at that. Nice little lake. Approaching. Right, is that a main dealership here? No, that's another animal dealer. Right, so we've got multiple animal dealers as well. Right. That is quite nice. So if you decide to start in the bottom left corner, you won't have to drive all the way to top right corner of a map. For those who don't enjoy driving long distances. And then again, you can use either auto drive or you can use course play. That's one of the bail cell points. Sorry, I should have installed camera collision mod. I'll make sure it's there for the next next video. Um, let's just have a look at those placeable areas before we leave this area. Right. Where is, is this the entrance? It is not. Right, so I'm just gonna jump over the fence. 
um, yeah, it's the same approach taken, and I assume each of a placeable area is gonna be the same style, same type of uh, placeable areas, which I do enjoy. I do like. I've not seen anyone do that before. Maybe a couple of maps have had it, but most of the maps will have a concrete area with maybe some grass on it, like some weeds and stuff. It's another cell point. More wind turbines. More cornfields again. Right, that's one more lake. I guess it's probably quite nice having all the multiple lakes if you're doing your animals. So, for instance, this would be a perfect spot for a farm. Uh, one of those placeable areas because you've got BGA on the right, you've got animals right there, and then you've got a couple of little lakes. And that's another animal dealer right here. Yeah, so you get your water from the lakes or the rivers if the mapper has enabled that. That's one more of those areas, but I can't seem to find the entrance to um Oh this camera collision is really not great. But I'll make sure I install the mod for the next video. Right, so you've got Animal Dealer just on the right there, and then you've got a placeable area here, that's the entrance. And then you've got a river and lake right next there, so it's perfect, perfect place to maybe start a little animal farm if you'd like. You've got everything just around. And more cell points. The cell points do have a lot of similarities. I can see he's used similar placeables or even same placeables on some of them. Um, but yeah, they are highly detailed, so that's a nice little almost a roundabout, a two-way roundabout, if you like. It's another town, and our main dealer is in this town. Uh, better not go past there. Should be it. Right, that's our main dealer on the left. Let's go and have a look. Nice straight roads. For those who like them, that is. That's another placeable area. Whoop. Right. Right, right, right. Let's have a look at the shop. And that is the repair trigger. That almost looked like a little sail is going into there. And let's buy a V tractor. Just to see, right. The spawn point is right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just check the reset point as well because some of our maps do add them to the main farm. So if we reset a right reset point is here. I guess for the PCs it doesn't really matter and since this PC is I mean since this map is PC only it doesn't really matter because you can get store deliveries but on the consoles I think it's nice to maybe have spawn point reset spawn point in the farm for those who don't like to drive that much kind of gives an option for the players but then again since this is a pc only map unfortunately console can't take 4x maps so right should we let's have a look at the pda here right maybe let's go that way and then just go down and have a look at this expensive bga Right, and they'll probably end it around here because it's a big map, as I said, and most of the towns look kind of similar, so we do get the idea. It is a great map, in my opinion. I'm usually not a big fan of it, of these placeables, like kind of Felsburn type of buildings, but. I feel like surrounded with all the trees and nice fields and the rivers, it does suit it really well. And I guess it does represent Germany pretty well. That's another 
EGA, yep, and that's one of our fields as well. It does look like a big kind of BGA with a shed. Right. Yeah, it does have a big shed next to and a placeable area, so I like the fact that next to each BGAs you kind of have a placeable area, so you could either start from scratch and build up, or you can just build on one of those plots and have BJ right next to it. As I say, if you don't like driving long distances, since this is a 4x map, that's another flat spot to build your farm. I do like, I do also like the fact that he's got placeable areas that are all nice and flat, so you don't have to like terraform. If you do want to have hills on that, you can just pick a random field, but the actual placeable areas are nice and flat, so you don't have any problems. It would be nice of Giants actually adding maybe an undo function for terraforming that would kind of make it easier and less daunting to terraform. Right, so that's that expensive BGA right here. It looks like it's got loads of silage bunkers, more than enough. Yeah, it does look like a multiplayer map because I just can't see anyone being able to fill all these bunkers by themselves. Yeah, that looks like a big BGA, quite a few bunkers, and then you've got a nice big machinery shed. It does look like it's got two BGAs within the same yard, hence probably the price. You've got two big machinery sheds, two actual biogas plants. So if you got a multiplayer farm maybe and couple of players you can always fill in one or the other. Yeah, so let's crack on. More forestry around the BGA which is always nice. There's a lot of maps, nice maps out there but we hardly got any forestry or even if we do well maybe have one spot on the map where you can chop woods down and it's not ideal for the people who enjoy forestry. Right, let's look around now, cars, and let's crack on. Some looks like sunflower field here. Yeah, plenty of forestry on this map. Plenty of forestry, and then nice hilly areas again, which I'm a big fan of. I like to play with realistic mud and added realism for vehicles so you do get stuck in the mud and you'll need doubles or triples rather than just having a regular in-game approach where it doesn't matter what tires you've got other than a row crop it doesn't make any difference if you're on singles or doubles it still drives the same way where that mod allows you to actually put the triples in that into use so another little field. Yeah, I do like a choice of different fields, as I've said. You've got like narrow long fields, hilly areas, flat square areas. Especially these fields on the right. It doesn't even look like we've got field numbers. Let's have a look at them. All right, we do here. And yeah, we are one of the smaller fields as well as number one is. Um, so yeah, you can start small, maybe get one of those placeable areas, couple of small fields here, and start from there, or you can pick bigger areas with bigger fields, so it's everything in for everyone, I think. Obviously, there's no perfect map to satisfy every single player, but I do have a feeling where this map does have multiple op options to pick from and different ways to play yeah there's a small placeable area here so you can just as i say pick that and then start with a smaller fields if you like and another bga it is crazy to see so many bgas in a single map i'm right, not gonna go in or will we Right, it's got another machinery shed, few silo bunkers, quite a few silo bunkers. 
yeah, and a few more placeable areas around this little town. It almost looks like a holiday resort, like with these little houses. Almost reminds me of kind of caravan parks in UK, which obviously doesn't look anything like it, but for some reason it just reminds me of it. And there's another nice hill. That is steep. Right, sorry we couldn't go into more detail and look at more sail points and more things around the map. As I say, since it's a Forex map, I don't want to have this video too long. It's nice to have some different buildings as well. Other than the ones we just went past in the previous village. It's also nice to have pedestrians. I do like having pedestrians. They're kind of good for role play. That's a nice early field. Right, so... Yeah, this video being my first video, I would really appreciate if you guys would leave some comments below telling me where I could improve and what I'm doing wrong if I'm doing wrong and whether you liked it or not. And if you did like it, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I think we just gonna end it here. Thank you very much for watching guys and have a good day.